and he's talked at almost every uh, every event that he's had crisscrossing the country after uh, the State of the Union about lowering costs, how important it is, and how there's more work to do. You hear that. In New Hampshire and North Carolina, he spoke about his work to lower health care costs. In Las Vegas, he discussed his plan to build and renovate, uh, renovate 2 million homes to lower housing costs. In Madison, he announced his student debt re relief plan. He also spoke with Senator Sanders just last week about his progress lowering costs for prescription drugs and inhalers. This week, he spoke about plans to lower costs for child care, home health care, uh, elder care. He talks about lowering costs almost every event. I just laid out the events that he did in March and in early uh, April about how he's making sure that the number one economic uh, concerns that Americans have are lowering costs. And just like Ron, Ron said this. He said that the president has been, he believes he believes in what the president has been doing in crisscrossing the country and talking about uh, the State of the Union and talking about how we're going to continue to cut costs uh, for Americans and making sure that we do not give big tax giveaways to corporations. That's what Republicans are talking about. They put out their, uh, their uh, budget budget and their budget is to cut Social Security, Medicare, uh, uh, Medicaid. That's what they want to do. And we're doing the opposite. We're trying to protect that and lower costs for Americans. Is it at all inappropriate for the president to be commenting on what the Fed might or might not do with interest rate cuts? So look, the president, on last, on, unlike the, the last one, uh, has been very clear about giving the Fed the space to make independent decisions about how they're going to move forward on their monetary decisions. The president has always been very clear about that, and he'll continue to do so. And in his comment yesterday, he was also clear. He said, we don't know what the Fed is going to do. And he was simply reflecting on public interpretation of recent data. But he also said, we do not know what the Fed is going to do. And we've always given them the space to make those decisions, those monetary decisions independently, and make sure that, again, they have the space to do that. Um, there's been some discrepancies between what Israel is saying in terms of the number of trucks getting into Gaza that are full of aid versus some other aid groups, including the United Nations. So how is the White House exactly measuring what good progress is? So, look, um, I, I, I'm not going to get into the nitty-gritty here. I will leave it up to... Uh, up to uh, <laughs> Up to up to them to speak to uh, what they're seeing, but we believe and we're talking about a thousand trucks in over three days. That matters, a thousand trucks. But a lot of the when folks are saying that some of those trucks are not completely full, there are trucks that are half full that are being counted. So, what are the measurements here in terms of what is effective aid delivery? I think when we are hearing more than a thousand trucks and we're seeing that, where I just said 300 trucks just yesterday. That matters. There's more. There's more access being allowed. The trucks are being allowed to come in. That matters. Uh, and so, look, that's what uh, that's what we are uh, we're continuing to see. Uh, we believe that Israel is keeping their promise. There's more work to be done, right? We need to see the ports open. Uh, we need to uh, we need to see that as well. But we're seeing progress here.